54, we weighed in at 188.4, and I picked up the camera because I'm cooking up breakfast. Just 40 grams of oatmeal. Just 40 grams of oatmeal. The bowl is super hot, like it should be. And the reason why I picked up the camera is just in case uh, anybody's like thinks I'm scheming over here. But since the bananas are honestly just too ripe or too green to actually use, I'm just gonna do 190 grams of blueberries on top of my oatmeal. So it's mainly just <laughs> blueberries. But I picked up the camera because oh god, oh god, oh god, I accidentally spilled some. So. You know, that really sucks a lot, actually. While I was washing them, I uh, spilled a bunch, but it's no big deal. We're just going to take this now, throw this right on there, bada bing, bada boom, and that's all there is to it. almost forgot to show you what the physique is looking like as we are standing here, so... Definitely getting leaner overall. You know, this shirt did not fit a couple days ago, well, a couple weeks ago, really, but getting leaner for sure. Still not quite where I want to be yet, but... It's a work in progress, you know, just like yesterday, still grinding, still putting in work. Definitely getting leaner, it's just all this body fat. Once we'll get to a point where this won't even exist, it'll just all be gone, which is great. This is what we look like from the side, relax. You can see we still got all that belly fat though. But you could actually see when I flex my abs, you could see a little bit of ab development overall and you know we're just putting in work so it's got to keep on keeping on you can see the lats are getting my upper back is getting a lot wider so eventually we'll get through all this but the legs i'll show you the legs so this is the left quad this is what the left quad is looking like um pretty hard to see but you can see the quad actually peak out there and then this is what the right leg's looking like it's a lot easier to hit the light right with this leg than the other one but you can see quad development is there. Yep, yep, so just gotta keep on keeping on. And you will eventually start getting gains. Oh my God, we're about to knock down our 100 grams of protein powder, but dude, I am laughing hysterically. So Liver King, guys, all of you know who Liver King is. If you don't, you've been living under a rock. He's taking the fitness industry by storm because he's just, so insane but honestly what's even funnier than his content is the comments so I'm, i'll show you the dm i just sent my brother about the comments he gets because i'm laughing hysterically at this it's so funny <laughs> oh my god i love it i love it i love it it's hilarious i literally only follow liver king just so i could see the comment section but like look at these comments i just finished my simulated hunt on the local drunks outside the bar then put my El liver king concoction on some toast and i was like did you earn those carbs and he's like I was a little tipsy from the alcoholic liver and bone marrow I harvested, so I was not thinking straight. I will fast for 200 days, to which I replied, good job, or good work, primal. <laughs> Imagine all the animals he would have killed if his simulated hunts were real. That lightning about to get struck. <laughs> okay. It's like Chuck Norris of 2021. Liver King, my quest to become a primal has landed me a bunch of charges for assault by some beta organisms. Don't worry though, I'm about to simulate a hunt on and I think he said something. And then the bottom one's like, I just know his wife is unhappy, to be honest. Oh my god. What up, primal? I was casually honoring my early ancestors when six children from the local daycare ran away into my hands for an amazing reason. <laughs> Stuff is gold, dude. It is honestly so funny, bro. Because <laughs> he's dead serious. Like, all of his content is like 100% unironic. He's like, good work, primals. Oh my god, dude. That stuff makes my day. Oh my lord. Gotta love it. So, we're gonna knock down this protein shake, and then next time you'll see me, we'll be at the gym. Oh my god, dude. That stuff. Hilarious. So funny. All right, guys. So today we're going to be hitting our leg presses, and I think we might be on demon time. I might bump a setup, maybe do all the sets, just because when it's a little bit further back, it's a little bit easier, so I'm able to load more weight, progressively overload, despite killing myself with the cardio. So starting set, we're gonna do 170 for 10. Next set we're gonna do is 185 for eight. Do I wonder in the crowd? That means 200 for six. Up next, what are we gonna do after that? After that, we're gonna do a one rep max, except we're just gonna be using one leg to push the sled, or at least try to. And if that doesn't work, then I'll have to figure something out. Okay, 185 for eight. I'm trying to really focus on dope drive.
and not locked down all the way. Now we're gonna jump up 200 for eight. Bada bing, bada boom. 200, or no, or six. 200 for six, I meant. I think the way I'll do this is I'll just have one leg on. Let's see what happens. Maybe yeah, let's grab the one up top. Wow. Let's see what my left Interesting. 75. Interesting. So let's go 95. Okay, 85. Interesting. That's very interesting. Well, now we know our one leg limit, so it's 85 pounds, and we'll drop back down. We'll do 185 for eight, and then 175, or one, yeah, 170 for 10. That last set was super interesting, to be honest, but now we gotta hit 85. Now we got 170 for 10. 170. I wonder what my legs look like. I wonder how much smaller they are, how much leaner they are. For both. Chin-ups, and we're gonna hit these pull-ups. <sighs> hit 10. I was hoping to hit 12, to be honest with you. I think we could do 15. I wasn't capping before, guys, when I told you I was doing 300 a week. I was not freaking lying, dude. I was doing hundreds a day. Not a day, but like 100, 100, 100. We only need to hit three more. That's 15. All right, pull up time. Fucking fingers slipping, but my middle back, center of my back, is like super sore, bro. Gassing out, gassing out, those 15 chin up. All right, after reviewing the film, we have to hit four. Yes, we got four. Two. But we got two left. Hit one. All right, second one. I put my foot, but that's 10 and 15. So we gotta do chin ups now. Sick. Dude, I'm gonna hate editing this when we're done with it. But that was six. Let's shoot four. Let's say nine more. You know what, we'll just do 15 and 15. And then just cause we'll probably try to do 40, 40. Pull up stuff though. Pull ups are a lot weaker. Uh, fatigue. Five more. Now we got two left. I might have been able to hit that last one, but we're gonna hit it right now. It's gonna be 
long, long nightmares back in. That was two of 10. And we've got 28 left. That was tough. All right. I think it's just because we're doing the chin up so fast. So that's four. You know what? Not looking good for the kid, man. Tell you what, we got four left in the set, so we'll just get it done. Alright, I'm gonna wait. Alright, that's five. We got one more. This has to be like set, this has to be. It's only the second set, so this is only the 20th. How is that possible? How am I so fatigued? <laughs> wow. So now, we'll probably just do five chin-ups because I'm obviously not ready for 20, well, 40, 40. We'll do five chin-ups, then we have two, 15. Okay, 15 pulls left, not bad. And then when I get to 35 and 35, I might still add on that extra five. We'll see. All right, so we're gonna do 10 pull-ups to up to the chin-ups. Holy oh. got three done, seven left. Five left, five left. I didn't have that one me. We're at five, we need to hit 10. Seven. We gotta hit seven. <laughs> it gets to a point where you're only really able to hit once, and then eventually you might not even be able to hit the ones. Like that's just, just how it goes. Now my forearm burnt out. Burnt out, okay. Okay, we need to hit two more. A dose. Oh, I'm gonna take a dose. Dude, I don't even think I could do it. I gotta rest. And I think I really want to go to 35, or I mean 40. We just hit the 35th pull up, I believe. We should have, yeah, that was it. We hit five, and that got us to 25, and we hit another 10, which just got us to 35. So now. We gotta hit those chin-ups. We only got five chin-ups. So I'm gonna try to bang those out right now, actually. I don't know how any of the rowing exercises are gonna do, because on those last couple sets, this arm, I was literally only able to really hold on like this. I wasn't able to close my actual hands because my forearms are sore right now. So we're gonna try hit all the rowing things. You know what? I think we'll shoot five more of each. End off the week on high note. All right, all right. Pull up time. So this will make it 40 and 40. I just can't hold on. So now we got five chin ups. Forty forty. Now we gotta do the pulse. This is gonna be really tough. We're starting at ninety. We're bumping all sets. This is gonna be rough. Now we're trying a hundred for eight. Next up, six reps of white head. All right, so six reps of one ten. Now we got a one rep max of one thirty. All right, let's see what a one thirty pound pole looks like. Went a lot easier than I thought it was. We're gonna drop down to 110 for 80. Alright, 
110 for eight. Now we gotta do 100. Alright. 100 pounds for 10 reps. Now we gotta set up the rows for the lats. So we got 60 pounds up here. We gotta hit this for 10. Now we got 90, you know what man? We're gonna jump up and do 100 for six, just cause I can. I'll literally do 110 for eight on that. Now we gotta hit 90 for 10. Last set, after this guys, we're gonna throw you away and run on the treadmill. And after that, we gotta eat. I've noticed holding the grip lower actually kind of tracks better. Tonight was really, really, really a struggle, but what's even worse is you guys get a good look. Actually raining right now. Raining pretty hard, which means it's either gonna stop soon or keep on going. It always rains in the morning in Florida, like in the AM between like three and seven, even eight. But this mile, like this run was super, super tough. Once we got to 1.2, we weren't able to do 30 minute breaks anymore. I think it was 45, 45, and then like a minute 15, minute 30, minute 45, minute 45. I never dipped below two minutes. Minutes, but it was tough it was very very tough and it's it's raining hard so I got to figure out what I'm gonna do whether or not I'm gonna try to like book it to the car or what but we got to check up on the physique and then we got to eat all right so day 54 run I have a feeling honestly these days aren't gonna get easier if you guys remember from earlier this shirt was a light gray now we're almost black because I ran and ran and ran you could see the contrast in between the shirt color right there and you might be wondering there's to yourself like right why push like that and the reason is it's solely because well not solely but mostly because i want to succeed more than anything in life itself there's nothing in a life that i want or desire more than just to be successful i literally just want to get a property right it just exists for the rest of my life design a property keeping all my fish tanks doing all my like animal stuff and then doing all of this from afar but we're getting leaner. Um, I can't really see too well from this distance. I just can't. Um, but we're getting leaner. I'm noticing new vein developments, basically, in my forearms and arms still. Um, chest. I got. I still haven't researched the uh, actual posing yet. But that's because I literally spent all day. I spent every day just editing, right, for this channel and then my first channel, which is at 3,700 subs right now. But if I could get both these channels popping. You know, I will, be, I will live a very fulfilled life. I'm not gonna lie. Doing this, chilling, getting shredded, then 
focusing on getting as strong as possible. Hey, I'm for it. I don't even know. All right, I'll show you the legs real quick. But you can see definite ab development. We're lo still losing body fat. It's a process for sure. It takes a long, long time, especially when you gain 60 pounds in five months because it's basically all fat, water, and glycogen. So you can always see my belly move now. You know, before you weren't able to do that. Nobody was. <laughs> you weren't able to see through the mat. That wasn't my gut. But this is that left leg, very sore. This one's the m most problematic body part. And it's really just from striding, from extending out and then that extension right here i don't stretch at all i probably should but that extension right here that little muscle that sits in between like the quad muscles this one right here is the one that experiences the most strain um this is the right quad i think this one just is able to hit the light better or i have a better like muscle the mind muscle connection to it you can see i could shake it it's a lot easier when you're like laying down to do it but you know can't really be mad. Day 54 dinner guys, so I'll show you what we're eating. We've got my five eggs, 120 grams of rice, and then 5.6 ounces of chicken. With some Frank's Red Hot on, zero calories, so you don't really need to worry about that. Just the sodium, you might be uh, worried about that. I'm not really. But that is it for today guys. If you're enjoying this series so far, definitely like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.